Uh, Percival, you might want to look out behind it. Oh God! Oh no! Oh! Uh, wait! Get back here with my blade! What are you doing? No! Get back here! Is it? Is he going for a ride? Okay, no, he just. Okay, good. He, he, man, being able to recover from any in in injury sure has its advantages. Hey, everybody! It's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, I would not be able to do it justice with just a quick summary. You know what happened, and if you don't, please go back and see it. This time, we are gonna leave Mui Mui out in the hot sun for yet another day because there's still all sorts of things around the world that we can do. Oh man, is he like suffering from some kind of trauma by getting that much dust in his eyes underneath his glasses? I am so sorry. Well, we're gonna start out by going off to Argentum, seeing if any of our field skills meet a damn there. Actually, no, we're gonna be starting off with the Merc Group because we have these guys that have come back. It's like a glimpse of the real me. It's been a lot, definitely. We've done so many quests already, there's still more to come. There just isn't a slower time all Titan to run and do things, so it makes sense to just knock it all out now. Cooking Spices is gonna come up next thanks to the fusion combo up two. I know just the blade who's gonna be getting duty out of that. Let's see if I can light up and she happens to get bonuses from it. It's like they knew. I'd like to take this time to correct a mistake that I made about blue Merc missions. I was saying that the items from them can be farmed infinitely. The experience, money, and other uh, non-item rewards can be farmed infinitely, and that is a good reason to repeat Merc missions, but the items are only awarded on the first clear. I was mistaken about that. Thanks to those who pointed this out. It was something I didn't realize on my own. I've pretty much done every Merc mission with a reward that I care about getting with priority, so at this point, I'm just gonna complete whatever we can. A lot of the lesser Merc missions have very easy to fulfill requirements, like this one having Electric Mastery as one of its skills. And just needing two of them to be humanoids, it's very simple stuff. Like there, by just selecting whatever Electric Blades I had, I met the requirements and had seven of the recommended field skills. Just show me the way. She might not be good at battle, but she's good at naming her Merc group. 15 minutes down from 30. That's how good that is. Checking on Argentum, the stuff is looking pretty steep. Probably just gonna say outright no to it. Okay. The first stop of the day is Torigoth. Right in the Treadle Windmill Plaza, up on top of this much talked about rooftop that's been of a lot of help to us. Tataka. Oh, Tataka, wind on. Mime, perfect place for wind on face. Sounds heavenly, actually, being up on a roof like this. The glow in the hair, especially if you're all hairy. Meh meh, that's not what it looks like. Tataka not slacking off. Tataka was just resting wings. Really? Sumpkins bearing so much fruit this year, it gets too hard to keep up with harvest. At this rate, valuable sumpkins going to get bruised and not be able to sell on market. If only Tataka had more helping hands. You going to help out Tataka out? Oh, that would be big help. Tataka going to keep slack. Uh, Resting here a bit longer. Hope friends can help ha get harvesting done all smooth, smooth smoothy smooth. Hey, you don't own the Garfont mercenaries. You don't know the true meaning of the word slacking, I gotta tell you. We're gonna go to Lily's Ox Cores, and I wanna tune up this affinity max attack that we got from doing a Merc mission. Level three of that's gonna be real good on Pyra. Actually, you know, you got an affinity max attack effect as well. You're wearing massive melee Mithra, you can take the Affinity Max Attack 3. 40% more damage, stacking with that 70% already, and you have increased critical damage. You're a machine, and not just because you got that metallic sheen. Finch got very close to a trust level up from that last quest that we did. It would make anyone want to grow as a person if I'm being real with you. So Nia, you can just spam some useless pouch items. The Snowflake Weave Soul can have a use here. Hmm, yeah, I like this. If the item is liked by the blade or driver in the relationship, then it gains more trust when used. And Nia, you can be the one to pull the trigger on Clatter Tongue. This is exactly what I want. Level three for Finch. Yes, there it is. It's so clear to me now. Finch wants to head to Donview Grotto in Gormont. We've already discovered the secret area thanks to earlier events that played out with Uncle Pon Umut. Level four key affinity for Dromark! I shouldn't be that surprised actually. We had level four on Pyra and Poppy already. He was overdue. Leaping level two, good. 
No one else? No one else. Finch has a heart-to-heart -heart visible on the highest level of the Titan battleship in Gormont. On the map, it's easy to see where it is, but it's not easy to get there. This door is still locked after all this time. In the hangar where we fought Consul Dougal, right over by these boxes, the senior officer's key, he left it behind. From that, we can access the drawbridge bridge controls upper in the, uh, in the upper levels of the hangar, lowering that down. And this drove me mad. I could see a heart-to-heart -heart on the other side of that door. I didn't have access to any guides on the internet because I was playing this before it was released. And you don't know how good you have at being able to look up things whenever things go wrong. I've heard tales of journalists who got to play... Oops. I say who got to play like it was a privilege, but, but had to play Paper Mario Sticker Star for reviews before release. And you think that the puzzles in that thing were cryptic even with the internet and being like, what? how the heck did they expect us to know what stickers we were going to need before going into an area? Oh, I heard it was bad where they were having to reach out to each other and by pure chance one person would solve it and they would spread it to the other journalists. It was awful from what I heard. Port Balcony! Whoa, that was quite bright. Over this way, I don't want to... Uh, Aw, oh, the real treasure is the love that we get from viewing this heart to heart, right? <laughs> now, we're gonna open that first, taking that turquoise chip and a common core crystal. Turquoise chip kinda sucks. I've yet to do any upgrading to adenine. Um Yeah, the oh the wood we have a wood chip. Oh shoot, who do we use that on? Wolfric. Without a doubt, that's going on Wolfric. That's so good. I thought that said Lance of Ham for a second. <laughs> I mean, I'd like it. It's just like ham on a stick. This is the best chip for adenine, and the 50 more luck will help out Nia's break chances even further on the other blades. Here we are. Oh, yay! Oh, so awesome! <laughs> just look at... I'm literally speechless. I never saw you like this before! Not in my whole life. It gladdens me to see you so enthused. The view is breathtaking indeed. But you've seen a whole bunch of stuff like this. Huh? Really? Uh, maybe, but this one's just so crazy awesome! Are you sure you're not misremembering? <gasps> That's the cool thing about all this adventuring business, coming across stuff like this. I just want to keep doing it. I just want to see everything, discover it all. Where do you want to go next? Hmm. I really want to see somewhere snowy. Snowy, you say? Yep, I've never seen snow in real life before. <sighs> I can just imagine it. Everything all white, like a great big wedding cake. And you know another place I want to see? A real hot place with scorched earth. A fusty old dust bowl. I feel like I'd really be able to spread my wings and fly in a place like that. Really? I'm not so sure. Well, whatever. Just make sure you tell me if you're about to go off to one of those crazy cool places. Anyhow, let's hurry on to the next great discovery! I can't wait! Everyone good to go? Very much so. Let us venture forth. Uh, um... Oh, hold that thought. Yeah! Woo! Look! Look it! Get a load of that scenery! Never seen that before. Huh? Can't you see that killer view, bro, Mark? It rocks! What? Did you forget already? Forget? Forget what? <laughs> we'll never be short of entertainment with you around, Finch. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> You're all weird. Bro, Mark! <laughs> Finch is quickly becoming a... In the coming up to the Electra tier for me, where I love her, but she's awful in battle. I somebody that I really like seeing, but not using in fights. She's quickly becoming that. 
I think that my opinion of Finch started out lower than most people because I had her for a lot of a playthrough at one point. Uh, it was my first time ever seeing her, and she was just such a letdown after I read her abilities and thought she'd be really interesting, where she was just really slow, didn't really get anything done. Hey, look, it's Electra! I hope things went well. All friends returned safely! Just having a party. Everybody come running for Finch after a show like that. You really like adventures, eh? Yeah, I really love them. It's what makes all this wandering about worthwhile. Seeing new stuff, it's what it's all about. Hey, I was just saying exactly the same thing, like, just a minute ago. Right? Oh, who cares? I'm probably just overthinking it. <laughs> Don't worry, Finch. We're used to it. And we love you all the same. Huh? You guys don't seem as worked up about all this new stuff as me. Don't you like new things? Nah, I mean, this stuff is still kind of cool, Finch. We just don't go nuts and flip a lid every time. Seriously? Indeed, Finch. You have your own very loud way of rejoicing. It's one of your characteristics. Uh, I, I don't r really get when you... <laughs> Who cares? Anyhow, let's hurry on to the next great discovery. I can't wait. Everyone good to go? Very much so. Let us venture forth. Uh, um, oh, hold that thought. Yeah! Woo! Look, look at a load of that scenery. Never seen that before. Finch, say it. Heart to Heart is extra special, as is Finch. This is one of those rare Heart to Hearts that will actually change its contents based on story progress. For that reason, I have reset and not taken either option. I'll be back later to show how this changes once we get far enough to see that. Fonsamima Port is our next destination, as up this very cool ladder. The Zapmeisters have returned! I hope things went well. We I'll be so popular, it'll be unreal. That new Merc mission we got was Harvest Help. Not a particularly helpful one, but definitely an easy one to meet the requirements for. I can't tell you how long it took me to realize this, but I was doing this to scan for field skills for the longest time if I didn't want to search. But if you hold right, you go over here. It took me so long to realize, just hold down to douse that way and then go over and just do it in columns. That is so much quicker. Ooh, I have a great idea for a new firework. New Merc Group. I'm calling these guys the Alba Trojans. Cool or what? Stay tuned for Finch's stunning performance. Just remember to have fun. And it'll be a premiere for you too. Our next stop is this super cool ladder that looks really cool during the day as well. Wow, the gate on the way out of the Titan. Um, I don't want to ruin it though, but I'm going to say that that gate is canonically the Titan's butthole as we're right near the uh, tail and that's a hole that you use to get out. It makes sense. I'm sorry, but it does. Wind mastery and leaping at long last. We can see what's up here by getting up on top of this build. Oh no, no, it's a Treasure chain point. letter. Spike defense, not useful. Don't care about that. And wind mastery level five. Well, now there gets to be the same amount of mystery in the world. Isn't that nice? We can go out to the stomach and finally with keen eye get to see this. Whoa! Overload to the senses! We've seen it in Sunset before, but something about this view. Ugh. Our luck is turned. Hmm. Yes, I see. I don't have Wolfric on? 
Can't remember ten seconds ago. Give me. Grant me strength. Feels so good to finally have keen eye after all the times it came up without me having it. It's pretty common field skill for rare blades to have, so I'm very surprised that it took that long. Specials level three plus and a common core crystal. It's a welcome addition. In worm tears. People always talk about feasting on the tears of their enemies. But we get to. Uh, that's karma for saying something so awful about people that you disagree with, don't you know? That's seriously all this is? I mean, all right, it answers a question. It's a way to get into that cave and do those quests easy, but I thought it was pretty easy to sneak around in there. Oh, I can't stay indignant at this. It's home. At Port and Angam. Open up. It's like dance music having this playing when it's dark out and the lights are coming on. Enjoy it for the very brief moment while you still can. Opening art to. Feel so bad about missing that one. Wait, no, no, no. We're going back. VIP escort. Females required. Oh, we're escorting a lady, so female bodyguards. Okay, not where I thought that was going. Wolfric has a note on his chart that requires beating supercharged Alfonso in Gorma. It's found over in Mazra Spring on the lower level of the Titan. He has a name on the lower level of Melnath. We know these deep lore hot reference pantses. I mean, we're actually right near his legs right now. I guess this could be the pants. All this moss growing on him. It's a very, uh, very tough fabric. There it is. I was about to say, where is this thing? This is a pretty good unique monster to know. We're going to approach him with Wolfric. I haven't really gotten to go over everything I wanted to say about Wolfric. We kind of had a lot of blades coming in at the same time, so they had their explanation splintered, which is why I was less than thrilled about us getting three run right after another. Mega Lances, since this is our first time really using one of these uh, to a great extent, are generally classified as attackers. I would refer to them as the easy choice in pretty much every fight. Whatever the driver wants in their role, it chances are the Mega Lance will just have it. Um, in the case of Rex, it's pretty good as an attacker. With Nia, it's good at doing decent damage while keeping the aggro away. It's just a very easy weapon class that does whatever the driver wants it to be. Top of you. Going in. Oh boy, here we go. Time for the smash. Oh, bow! Lightning quick. Go, 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 go! Are we going to get the smash in time? He's still on the ground. Ah, he's just barely getting back up. Level seven fusion combo, not quite. But we can do a chain attack. Oh, that looked cool with him standing there. Uh, well, Frick, this is your fight. And besides, that's the opposite of the orb that we're gonna be hitting. Bomb, 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 Bowie! Tora, you're gonna smash that orb? Sorry, Well, Frick didn't mean to steal your thunder and all. Uh, sure, Adnine can have her debut. <laughs> that was kind of funny. And another one. Astounding. Wolfric. Go for it. Termination blast. Ah. Death by chest laser. Nine, over 9,000 damage there on that hit. We might see a level up off of this, and it's eight levels below us. Yeah, yeah. Leave it to Korra. Enemy. The kiss of death. No level up for us, but still a good reward. Harvest necklace is a good accessory. An outdoor attack up, very worth it to come out here. Two skills. No more losing. For the price of one. We could kill those poison brogs while we're down here. I don't see it as necessary as that's uh, just something that we, yeah, we can do these by just sending them on a merc mission. It'll be really easy. I'm only doing this for the blades that we cannot equip and send on merc missions, like Pyra here. Adnine. Isn't it wonderful to learn new and exciting things? Unlocks her level two. As it turns out, we do have things to go do in Argentum. They're just not the treasure chest I was running around grabbing earlier. On Adnine's chart, now that she has her level two unlocked, 
Obtain Tome of Morath a level uh, number two and complete the appropriate Merc mission to decipher it. We're able to get started on this by going to Palala at the Reiterate Bookstore. He is now selling Tome of Morath a number two. I hate reading. No, he doesn't. He loves reading. Uh, we'll take that for 56,000 gold. That's an awful lot. And I think this might be the trigger for us getting all the books for the store. No. Didn't happen. No offense to the lady who's half dictionary, but I don't like reading. I'm sorry, I've never really been able to get into it. I get a headache from it, and I tend to zone out and not realize what I was even reading in the first place a lot of the time. I'm just not a big fan. Buying that unlocks a new Merc mission, just in time for us to finish another one. I am not gonna forget this one. We This will be useful. Tome of Moritha level two requires fire mastery, keen eye, and extra ancient wisdom. I was mistaken earlier in thinking that Adnine had ancient wisdom. No, her wisdom is too old to count as ancient wisdom. She must be the leader of this. And it's actually quite a short Merc mission. For the other one, we'll take Canteen job. Create a new Merc group with this one. We will be the Gungnir Wardens. Let's head out. See ya, inconsistent art style. It just so happens that up at the Rumbletum Canteen, we can now do this quest that I teased a while back from Falala. This required two uh, levels of keen eye, which we now have, thanks to my absurdly good luck. Friend is okay? My friends act worried. Friends thinking that Falala is showing off monster impression? Is that it? Sorry. That okay, everyone thinks so. Falala no is hopeless. Is something wrong? Falala want to become famous as wonderful singer. Want to spread word of Falala near and far across all rest. Then maybe he hear of me and don't feel so alone. Tora want more info. Yeah, I love this gossip. Oh, Falala means sunny pond, Solala. He go, go fishing one day and never come back home. Falala sometimes wonder where Solala is. Sometimes think about going to look for him, but... Falala gets terrible, terrible seasickness. Cannot ride boaty boat. So at least want Solala to hear of Falala, even if just Falala's name. That's why Falala starts singing. But his friends could hear Falala has terrible voice. A at this rate, only thing Falala will be famous for is monster impression. You want to help Falala become good singer? Wow, happy, happy! Falala heard from customer that there would be a special potion to make anyone sing very good. Potion name is Serenade. But only way to get potion is to gather ingredients and make your for yourself. Can friends help? We'll give it our best shot. Wonderful, your spirit remind Falala of Solala. Potion need two ingredients, cranberry bell and panda pansy, can find in Gormot province. If friends bring ingredients, using kitchen to make potion should be fine. Tora, get it? Falala here, potion that uh, defends on perfect harmony of ingredients during brewing process. Ah, I like the pun. Fame and family makes absolutely no sense so far. If there was a potion that could make anyone sing perfectly, wouldn't there be an entire industry based around this and not just simply people making it on their own? I don't know. But what I do know is, uh, okay, we're not doing that over there. Uh, the kitchen. We have plenty of these ingredients. Serenade question mark? I'm sure it'll be fine and not explode. Falala will practice until potion is finished. Blah, map, doop, dop, dap, la, fla, fla. Potion is finished? Yay! <laughs> you echo my sentiment. So this will make Falala a good singer? Cheers! <laughs> the taste was so bitter. Or so sweet. Falala doesn't really know. I'm to try singing. Gluba, fla, fla, flemba, bam, bla, ba, bla. I'm sorry that it sounds horrible even when I'm trying to sound good. I'm just, I'm not qualified for this role, okay? Uh, ooh, what did we do here? Give it to her straight. Meh, 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 of course. Even Potion cannot make Falala's voice better. I thought it sounded a little too, but good to be true. 
Mix of ingredients was probably wrong. Blame it on us. Please do not apologize. It's fault of Falala, really, for making such difficult request. Falala is very sorry, but could friend please try again with different riot ratios? Rex, are you up for this task? It doesn't sound easy. Agreed, but if we can keep our wits about us, we can handle it. <laughs> Cooking is very stressful. <laughs> so, for Falala's dreams, so Salala won't be lonely. Thank you, friends. I can relate to that overdramaticness of that because I cannot cook to save my life. I am awful at following uh, written instructions. I only learn by doing, and if I just don't have someone to teach me around me, then I'm absolutely no good. These are all different ratios. We could do one and nine, four and six, eight and two, three and seven, or five and five. The correct answer is four and six. The wrong items become pouch items that you get to keep. They give 8% party gauge gain for 20 minutes. Honestly, terrible, but interesting because they're such remote pouch items that most players never saw them. On the other brute, she won't be fed your lies. Falala will practice until potion is finished. Yes, it will. Something is caught in Falala's throat. Stomach is toasty tingly. Time to try singing. La 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 la. Ooh, la 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 la. Meh meh meh. Did such beautiful voice really come from Falala? I know when you uh, when you when you are completely toned up and you accidentally sing perfectly, it is the best feeling in the world, and it doesn't feel like it's really you. Now for Falala's stage debut. Ladies and gentle pawn, the all new Falala presents a song for your appreciation. You can imagine it. What a wonderfully calming sound. She has the voice of an angel and it only took me not speaking as her. Is that really the voice of Falala? Oh la la, Fal Falala glad, singing is no longer bad. Everything is thanks to friends, happiness will never end. Everything is okay now, all worry is over. Everybody come from near and far to hear Falala la la la. She's so pretty, actually. Uh, what's the next objective? Uh, it had to be daytime before she would talk to us again. She has an important busy life now, you know. Welcome, welcome, Meme. It's friends from before. Thank you for help. Oi there. Now customers come from near and far to hear Falala sing. But it's hard to become famous everywhere through just good singing. News of Falala will never reach Sunny Pond Solala at this rate. Talk about a tricky situation. Oh, but Falala have idea. Besides Falala's good singing, Falala will become famous through delicious foods. This will be known as restaurant for listen to Mama Pond Falala singing and eat Mama Pond Falala's yummy cooking. That's pretty neat. So Lala will hear about it and come to see his beloved Mama Pon. No time to waste, Falala must get cooking. Meh meh. Falala has run out of ingredients to make her specialty dish. Cannot be made without rhine and tail and squawer ribeye steak. Very rare for Marketplace to stock them. Please help, friends. Rhine on tail is found in Uriah and squawer ribeye steak is most common in Gormont. I genuinely hope your signature dish is falafels. Precisely getting these rhine entails, entails, going to Drillbore Bridge in the stomach. Nomad Rhinon! Hope you evolve into a Rhinerier. I like your attitude. Stay. This is actually a really good showcase of the fact that larger enemies tend to have more health, because these things are taking quite a beating despite being lower than us in level. They're not hurting us that badly, so it's not like it's hard to win this fight, but it is certainly more time consuming than your average level 21. Pyra got Flaming Edge level four, Finch got Doesn't Ring a Bell level two, and Dromar got River's Blessing level four, and Soul Sucker level three. Good, my voice couldn't go much louder. That's a lie. <laughs> Why would I even say that? I apologize for such Trading propaganda. There is still much to learn. My power ever grows. I had the coolest idea. No hesitation, Rex. Whoopsie crazy. That's like something and we finished uh, essentially another note on Adenine's chart by completing that Merc mission. Hmm, just the one tome isn't going to tell me much. I think we're gonna need the other volumes. Joy for my wallet.
It's strange. Knowledge is a gift that keeps on giving. This is for Adenine's skill, Extra Ancient Wisdom, which is a unique skill specifically for her, as it says right there. These are something of special skills that involve things specific to that blade. Oftentimes, you'll see their heart to hearts uh, referenced on these. Mm -hmm. Got it! No, it dropped a legendary accessory and it's down in the water. I can't, I can't make that, really? Uh, if only I owned one more shop, right? That is, that is so painful. Oh, hang on. Could Dromark do this maybe? If he can, that's incredible. Come on. No. <sighs> Seriously. In the meantime, we got our Merc group back. From that, Rex got a compassion level up four upgrade. Now I'd like to give special attention to Boulder Borgate. It's the destination to be at yet again. Your travel advisor, everybody. Not everyone has your energy, my lady. Keep eyes on A worthy foe, I hope. Revitalize. He just farted on me so hard it was stench and blowed. <laughs> Level up for Tora! These guys actually drop chrome scarves. I will protect you, and that's a fact. New skill for Adnine I got from just playing normally. We've still yet to go over you, and you're poised to be a strong blade when we do, thanks to these level ups. Oh, the time of day is because she's busy singing at nighttime. That make sense. In words Napon can understand. Falala! Did friends bring ingredients for cooking? My furry companion may have something for you. Meh meh, where did Tora put it? Thank you, Muchly. Falala will start cooking right away. Thank God she's not making us craft these things for her, too. Ta da! Spicy Stralu! Meh meh, amazing! When Solala had fever, or when he wet bed, uh, or when he have girl trouble, his mama pawn always make this for him. It have a lot of special memories attached. That's pretty neat. Actually, Falala have one more favor to ask of traveling friends. Falala has, has, has made flyers to spread word of cooking. Please help stick up flyers on notice boards in Central Exchange, Torigoth, and Fonsamima. Yeah, just travel around to three separate continents and put up flyers for me. Thank you, good luck. Falala will make lots of food to prepare for sudden influx of customers. She sure is optimistic with her expectations by going up to the notice board. Yeah! We actually placed this down and it has messages written in Alrestian. Hey, down in front, get out of the way. I gotta put up a flyer here. I like your attitude. For an alpha prototype, you sure pack a punch, Poppy. Poppy actually feature complete, but Master Pond want to keep tweaking UI. Yeah! Wow, Nia didn't take you to be the enthusiastic type. I never thought I would get to be on the same notice board as the great Falala. And in Fonsamima! That's all of them. Let's go and let Falala know we're finished. Uh, sorry, Adam. Oh, look, you even took the liberty of walking five feet over and putting up one poster all by yourself. I'm so proud of you. Flyers worked wonders. Customers coming from far and wide to hear song and eat food. Falala cooks so much food that skills improved dramatically. News of Falala's fame will definitely reach ears of Sunny Pond Salala. Do you even have ears? That's another problem sorted out. But just reaching Sunny Pond is not enough. Falala wants Sunny Pond to come back home, want to see his face again. We'll help you out. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Thank you. Maybe friends have he heard rumor of Salala on travels? Is that so? Maybe friends should listen out for more rumors. I am so sorry, do not have my priority straight. You know what they say, saving the world makes you selfish. Uh, go to the informant to see if there's anything. 
We can either send the Garfont mercenaries out to go on reconnaissance and see if they can hear anything about Salala, or go to the informant in the Argentum Trade Guild. The Merc mission honestly gives nothing of value otherwise. It's better to just buy Where's Falala's son. Rumor has it Salala may have been seen in Fonsamima in Uriah. Down by the port, her son has exquisite tastes. La 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 la. Ooh la 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 la. This song apparently very popular now in Argentum. Do friends know it? Wow, it really popular then. And Spicy Stralu from that restaurant, also famous. They say it remind everyone of their Mama Pond's cooking. Have friends heard of it? Let Tora explain. Meh meh meh! So Lala is Sunny Pond of Foodie Maker Songy Singer for Lala! I like that title. Makeup! Making up false stories, very bad! So Lala is Red Blooded Napon of Kingdom of Uriah! Not greedy, stingy Napon from Argentum! Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? Nia, you get the bag and I'll push! Napon adorable and famous for fluff for fluff fluff, fetch good price on black market. Meh meh meh! Help, kidnap! Help! Meh meh! You'll never catch me! That didn't go as well as I'd hoped. He's over up on top of the ladder of unluckiness. That's what I'm referring to it as. Watch, as soon as I grab onto it, it's gonna fall backwards and I'm gonna get crushed under it. And I have metallic stuff on me, so it's gonna reverberate throughout my brain. No? Okay. Maybe this is the ladder of unluckiness. I'm just thinking about how I went up all this way, this long, long climb, only to not have as many field skills as I thought I did. You're cornered. This is like an 80 foot drop for someone as short as you. Meh meh! Go away, meh! Leave Napon to Poppy. Drat. That's what we needed those skills for. So Lala was only swimming in Cloud Sea. No, no, won't go with you. I chose to just wait it out, let the Merc group come back so we could get Agate. Wolfric got all of his skills. Show you later. Electra. Let me at him. And of course, Agate was the only one that didn't. I hope I'll live up to your expectations. Someday this quest will stop wanting things. Leave Napon to Poppy. Falala is very sad because her son went missing. Will you at least meet with her? At worst, you'll get to enjoy that famous food and singing you heard all about. Oh, all right then, Solala, do it. Solala is red-blooded Napon of Uriah Kingdom. Solala will meet and explain that he not Sunny Pon of Falala. Maybe even try to comfort a little. But only going because of famous food and singing, really. Other stuff, just extra. Alba Trojan's here, that don't let him smoke. in. Wait, no, no, do All right. Where are we headed next? <laughs> oh my god! I didn't know you she said that. It was a roaring success. Just don't let him in over <laughs> her own <laughs> team. Oh my god! Alvatrage is here. Don't let him in. Oh wait, do let him. That's like something I would say when I was four. <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. I'll save you well with this. <laughs> I hate you, Finch. Nia got a stronger sense of justice from letting them in. <laughs> Salala! Falala cannot believe it! You alive! You are Mrs. Falala. Solala, not your sunny pawn. He is not on from Kingdom of Uriah. What are you saying? You are Falala's beloved Sunny Pond Solala. Memories of Solala all gone, washed away by Cloud Sea. How? How can Falala make you remember? The correct answer is eating her food. You always ate Falala's spicy stralu, stralu when you were little pawn. Here is some Falala made just now. Munch gulp. Do you remember? This taste. It's too delicious! Cooking of Solala's Mama Bond was more like dubious tasting! Meh meh meh! Falala did too much cooking and got too good! In that case, maybe you remember song Falala sang you as Little Pond. La 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 la. Ooh la 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 la. Do you remember? No. Song was from Solala's memory was much more off key. 
You not are not Solala's mama pod. Meh, meh, meh. What is Solala saying? Falala became good singer for nothing? Uh, song did not work. Cooking did not work. What can Falala do? Are you or rags? So Lala is red-blooded Napon from Kingdom of Uriah, not greedy, stingy Napon from Argentum, and So Lala's Mama Pon, not this, not this good at singing, talented foodie Pon Napon. Meh, meh, meh. Falala tried so hard to become good singer. Falala gathered ingredients to make spicy stralu. Falala listened out for any clue of Solala's whereabouts. Solala not care about all that. Have nothing to do with Solala. Ah! Meh, meh, meh. Friend is okay. This Solala is bad, not fun. Must not be Falala sunny, but after all. That blow. Look powerful, but done with paw pads have not really hurt. M M Mama Pon! Meh meh. You remember? Oh, Solala! Solala remember. So sorry, Mama Pon. Solala went fishing in Cloud Sea and fell in, then drifted very far. Mama Pon, it was so scary. It okay now, Sunny Pon. Mama Pon is here. Proper moved I am. There's something in my eyes. Let's have ourselves a wee celebration. Bring out the spicy Stralu. Sing for us, Falala. Yeah, great idea. Thank you, friends. Thanks to you, Solala came home. Falala does not have words to express gratitude. And that's another problem all sorted out. Falala is sorry for all the requests. Please stop by to enjoy song and food anytime. Special price for friends who help me out. That was a long one. I've been here for an hour doing this one. Machine Hunter 2 increases damage to machines, water defensive, self-explanatory, auto attack stealth sucks, why would you care about aggro from auto attacks, and fast blade switch 2 could be good on somebody like Rock who just has a single use with us uh, during the driver combo. Uh, thanks to you, Falala was able to reunite with her son. From now on, she'll treat you to music and a meal. So this opens up a new store. Mama Pon have good singing voice now. All meals all scrummy dummy with nothing like how it used to be. Are you, are you all right? I thought scrummy dummy was an insult, but no, it means like scrumptious. Oh, it's no problem at all. Maybe in the long run, it was a good thing that Falala lose memories. Big, big thank to friends. Aww. Falala Popstar is how she introduces herself to everybody who's having her cooking. You can now buy the spicy straw loo. It's a legendary rarity item, even though its effect is that of a terrible item. Minus uh, physical damage taken. And sorry, you cannot own Falala. For anybody who needs to work on Napon Wisdom, talking to two Napon right next to each other, this is a great place to grind that up and can be a really big help. Anyway, that's a lot of things done. We've done another duo of side quests, and I, and believe it or not, that is every single side quest that we can take care of as of this point in time. Bye bye, daytime. Tonight. Well. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2 at nighttime, I made it sound like we're going right into it, we're gonna be heading back to the capital of Morardane and finally meeting up with Mui Mui at the hotel. See you guys then.